Welcome back, Bobcat Nation. SKS here. We're in season three. The third season of Coach Brent Conquest, Mighty Rebuild of the Texas State Bobcats. I'm going to try to make the videos somewhat shorter this year, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut out a lot of the recruiting, and we'll update on that every couple of games. Uh, but this is the first episode of the season. Uh, one of the biggest questions that I got uh, sent to me was when we scheduled, why, why are we not picking big Texas schools? And it never even dawned on me, hey, we're Texas State. Maybe we should look at. I did look at the University of, or Texas A&M, but um, because it's highly ranked on this game, but um, they were, there's no way to schedule it. They were, they were loaded up. Before we start the first uh, week and go through to the second one, uh, we have a bye this week. I want to double check and see what the preseason standings are and see uh, what our conference outlook is. All right, so it looks like the defending national champs, Ohio State Buckeyes are number one, Alabama number two, Notre Dame number three. They're on our schedule. Texas A&M, I tried to schedule them. Uh, USC, the Eastern USC, South Carolina, Washington, Texas, Florida, Oklahoma, and Georgia Tech round out your top ten. I'll scroll through here so you could see the rest of the schools and see if there's anything surprising on there. Uh, it doesn't look like anybody – oh, yeah, yeah, Kentucky's on there. Special teams is A+. Plus. Uh, it doesn't look like anybody else. Oh, we can keep on going down here to see uh, – if there's anybody we'll be running into that is uh, super high ranked, there is University of Louisiana Lafayette. I'm probably going to guess that they're probably number one in our uh, in our league. And Louisville fell down to 42. Hurts my feelings. There's Penn State. They're on our schedule. Army is now in our conference. BYU is in our conference. Oh, man. What have I done? And then we'll round out... And go on down through here. I guess we did fall since we did lose Tom Sutton. Um, I'll just continue scrolling through. Wow, we are number seven. We have a B minus, B minus, C plus, D. We're a three star prestige. 81, 83, 78. And uh, yet we're still 70th in the country. Our all time record is now 20 and 17. We have a 1 0 bowl record. And our rival is UTSA, but there's no way to really edit that. Um, that's kind of weird. Here's our schedule for the upcoming season. If you did not watch the first episode, you need to go back and watch it. Penn State. Looks weird with it just saying PSU. Uh, number 22, UK. Number three, Notre Dame. And then we go into conference play. I may have messed that up a little bit because I added two teams, so we have to play them. So we lose one out of conference game, and we have BYU and Army, two away games to start. South Alabama, New Mexico, Georgia State, Troy, Louisiana Lafayette, and then Louisiana Monroe. And we finish up the season at Arkansas State, which always seems to be a really big uh, game. So, looks like a fun-filled year. Let's go uh, take a look at the conference outlook and see what they have us picked to finish this season. Wow, they have us fourth, which makes sense because if you go by those one rankings, Lafayette obviously was a superior team last year, played in a much better bowl game, had a... Didn't they have 11 wins, I think? We've added Army and BYU. BYU looks like the better, best team in the conference, so they could really tip things up. And then uh, I think, yeah, these top four or five teams, top six even. You know, uh, South Alabama and Georgia State are 74s overall. And they, this conference, I know it's the Sun Belt. But anything can happen this year. I'm kind of, what's their out-of-conference games look like? I'm kind of interested in seeing this. I don't care about team leaders. Um, they're playing a lot of their conference games up front because they got to play Air Force and Army and all that, and Navy at the end. BYU's taking on Virginia Tech. That's a ranked game. That might be Michigan State. Us. Oh, Arkansas State's taking on Bama. <laughs> okay. Troy, FCS Southeast. Please. I don't see anything else pretty big in these uh, teams taking on anybody. So we've definitely upped our game this year with our schedule. So let's hope it does come back and bite us. Probably will. 
So if you look at our four year outlook, evidently we got a really good crop in this year because this is technically the rebuilding year, I guess, because we lost a, we've lost two of the top layers of leadership. So new blood is coming through now that's been under Coach Conquest uh, tutelage. And as you can see, they got us 70th this year, 76, 42, and then they have us in the top 25 in four years. Um, I don't know how that operates. I don't know how this works in this game. But uh, this could be a, a trying year to see what happens. Never even noticed this. We are the 68th place. Would have been better if we were 65th. Bobcat Stadium at uh, toughest place to play. We are 14-5 and five at home. We're on a five-game winning streak. I didn't even realize that. So the only thing I really changed this year in the sliders is I went online and I found some, they're called Heisman, Bulldogs Heisman sliders. And they have a little bit different penalty things. So I used his settings on that and I adjusted the tackling on the CPU and I kind of lightened up our tackling on run defense because I felt like we were way ahead of everybody else in the game. And I think I dropped it down to seven minute quarters. I'm not for certain, um, but I think I did that. So let's go ahead and start the season, and we'll see how that first game goes. If the penalties are too much, I can always auto-adjust and things, but I just wanted you all to know up front that I'm not cheating the system or anything. Um, I just I, I wanted it to be more of a better-flowing game. So let's go ahead and get through this bye week, and we'll see what the shakeups are in the top ten, and then go on. All right, we're ready for week two. You can see here, let's get rolling. Texas State players can't wait for their season opener against Penn State. Let's hope we're not biting off more than we could chew. Uh, there's no mix-up in the top 25 because only one top 25 team played. It was South Carolina, and they won. So everything's pretty much the same. So let's go ahead and go into our game. Uh, we're running the 4-2-5 defense this year, and the offensive play playbook has been tweaked to go with the players we've picked up. Some of the things I'm concerned about, our new freshman wide receiver, Burnett, uh, he didn't catch a lot of the passes I threw his way in practice. Uh, another thing we got to worry about is we now have a speed back. Um, Jones is not a power back. He does not run through people. He has to get around them, and then his speed takes him the rest of the way. So it's going to be an adjusting dynamic. Penn State is a Big Ten team. They could come in here and crush us, um, and we've got to see how our lines play. So it's simple as that. Let's get to it. I mean, overall, they're almost a 90 overall team. This is, we've, the three teams we picked out of conference are solid. We could start the season 0-3. There's no denying that. Here's our top three players. We've got Justin Horn, 90 overall. Steve Humphrey, the previous All-American middle linebacker. And then Ryan Stewart, our wide receiver. I'm expecting big things from him this year. They're bringing in a 93 left tackle, a 90 center, and their tight end is 89. Their offensive line stacked. And our first game is a rain game. Justin Horn getting humped up from the coach. There's Penn State in their whites. I do like their jerseys. They're basic. They're simple. I like it. We'll see what can happen. Coach Conquest not got a good record in the rain. I think he's 0-3. But this is a home game. Penn State agreeing to come down here to San Marcos, Texas to take on the Bobcats. Here comes your Texas State 2015 season is underway and we're ready to go here. The new leader, Justin Horn, taking over to, for Tom Sutton. Your defensive leader will be Steve Humphrey. And this is a new look to Texas State this year. While Horn is the same, a lot of the weapons around him are different. We'll have to see how it goes. Rainy day here at Bobcat Stadium. Penn State, probably not happy about that. Their white uniforms are going to get dirty quick. You can tell it's a new season. We won the kickoff. Here's our new kicker, Cortez Wilson, I believe, kicking off. He's a junior JUCO transfer. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> and they get a 44-yard return. Penn State means business. Builds Edwards, Hughes, and Franklin, your defensive line here for the Bobcats. The secondary, a lot of young faces out there. Looks like a run play, and they're going to bring him down. He'll get a gain of four on the play. 
like number 29, that is Brandon Fritz from Channel View, Texas, a freshman corner, bringing him down. Second and six here. Penn State not showing signs of being a hurry up. Oh, and Bobcats come through there and crash the line, and that is a loss of two. Looks like Edwards is on the play. Fields comes over and congratulates him. Expected big things from Ronnie Edwards, and Darius Fields, and all the line, and Jermaine Hughes this year. Let's see what they can do here on third down. The throw is going to come out, but they're going to make the tackle, and he's going to be a yard short. Looked like Randy Booth on the tackle there. And on fourth and one, Penn State will show punt. Let's see if they follow through here. And they will. They're going to pump it deep. Kennery was back to receive, and they're going to put him within the five. Here comes Justin Horn. Lofty go in front of him here, being pinned deep. Line comes out. Stewart, Burnett, the freshman. Lee and Lane, the new tight ends. Jones in the backfield this year. Jones looking for a hole. He'll get nowhere. That Penn State line holds stout. Curtis Brown in the block, the fullback. Horn will deliver. He hits Lane on the side of the lane. Will pick up some more yards and get 17 yards. Wade Lane, the new tight end, the junior out of Dade City, Florida, gets out there, breaks free. Horn puts it right on the money, has the awareness to turn and go upfield for a few more yards. First down, Texas State. Stewart and Burnett out to the left. It's a handoff. Jones, he'll sneak through and he'll get three there. You saw the quickness, but two Nittany Lions will pull him down. Second and seven here. Burnett, Robertson, and Stewart out there. Horn. Horn hits Robertson. Robertson, excuse me, 16 yards, first down. Stood in the pocket. Didn't take the hit, had just enough time. Robeson will take the hit immediately, but hold on to it. Lane will make another catch. Lane, Lane will roll out of bounds. 16 more yards from Wade Lane. Really making a statement here. Caught that one in traffic. Oh, it looked like he ran into Ryan Stewart, but he'll roll off and he just couldn't stay in bounds. He spins out another first down. Wade Lane really making a statement here in his first game. Stewart, Roberson, Burnett out there, and Lane on the right. Oh God, Jones groveled up in the backfield. Didn't get a block, and that'll be a loss of five. They get a 15 here. Lee goes in motion, defense shifting. Uh oh, Jones, 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 he stumbles. He had 12 yards, he slips in the rain. He couldn't keep his balance. I think he would have been gone there. Third and three here. Lane will go in motion. And Jones is hitting the backfield. He'll only get maybe a yard. And that's going to make it fourth and two. The offense didn't even walk off the field. Fourth and two here, 230 left. Stuart Robertson Brunette out there. Lane is the tight end. Horn, he hits Roberson. Roberson holds on and it's a first down, 12 yards, and they move the chains. First to 10 here. The handoff, Jones, Jones, Jones knocks over somebody and he'll pick up eight on that. Did you see the bouncing as he went through the line? Very different tactics. Burnett, Roberson, Stewart out there. Penn State looks a little confused. Looks like they're bringing the blitz. It's a screen. Jones is out there. Jones has room. Jones is going to go in for the first touchdown of the Bobcats season. 18 yards from Justin Horn. And the Bobcats go up on Penn State 6 to nothing. A perfect play call there. And I believe that Justin Horn was perfect on that drive as well. The blitz was coming and they called a screen pass to the halfback. 11 plays, 92 yards. Wilson comes out and he'll make the kick. Bobcats up, cheerleaders holding on here in the rain. Cortez Wilson kicks this one deep. Gator will come out, uh oh, Gator's got some more room and finally the line comes over and they'll do something about it. 
Bobcats held him to nine yards with no sacks and interceptions on that last drive. Let's see what happens here. State comes up to the line. It's a running play, and oh my god, he's met. 23, was that Randy Booth? We'll give credit to the tackle to John Skills, but Booth runs into him and holds him there. A loss of one. Remember, Coach Conquest's plan was to switch to the 4-2-5. He's trying to run that this year. Uh-oh. Guy gets a little open, and he'll get eight yards on that, and that'll make it a manageable third and three. Linebackers are just over. Oh, and they'll dip it. Booth cannot get to him, and that's going to be a first down. Oh, there's a flag on the play. Personal foul. Uh, what? On Green? Ryan Green called for the face mask. Still first down. That's going to push him on down the field. So that was Ronnie Edwards that gave pressure. Three wide receivers to the left. Oh, and it's knocked down by Green in the end zone. Ryan Green was there. The junior out of Lufkin, Texas, and it's fourth and 10. Penn State comes out here to try to make it a 7-3 game here in the rain. Kick is up, and the kick, ooh, and he shanks it, and it falls short here in the rain. I think he slid in the dirt. And it's still gonna be seven nothing as we head toward the end of the first quarter here. 16 seconds left, Lee goes in motion here. Jones, Jones elusive one. Jones, Jones takes off down the side of the field. Jones showing his speed. Jones trying to get to the end zone. And the Bobcats are up by 14, 13, excuse me. Darnell Jones, his first breakout run. We said he was a speedster, and he waited patiently on those blocks. Look at this. Slows, lets one guy get him, and he goes around a big block there by Dylan Lee, the tight end out of Oaks, North Dakota, and he takes it to the house. Texas State goes up by two scores right here before the end of the first. I don't think you could have wrote a better start to this game for the Bobcats and Coach Conquest. The fans trying to keep that paint on the best they can here in the rain. Don't ruin those white hats, guys. We're going to kick it to the left this time. Let's see if Cortez Wilson can put it over there. Maybe this guy's not as fast. Hernandez, the wide receiver. He'll get pulled down there. 26 yards. Here comes that Bobcat defense. We're still in the first quarter. Coach Conquest got to feel incompetent right now. Hernandez, Gaither, Newberry out there. Morris, their tight end. Texas State comes out the 4-3 stack. Oh, big run here. Oh, he's going to get through, and he's going to break a run. Can anybody get him down? Green goes down the field and finally knocks him out of bounds. Aaron Hill, a big run himself. And that takes us to the end of the first quarter, so Penn State not going down without a fight. 14 to nothing here, but they're in striking distance after that run by Hill. Don't change the channel. First and 10 here. Looks like they're on the 19. Oh, what a one-handed catch by Smith there, and he'll pick up three on that. Talk about Spider-Man hands, he really had them. I think we need to check that tape. Two wide receivers, they got some guys in the back. And they're gonna go to the left here. So I go right down the middle. He'll get three, so third and four. Two receivers out there. Four, two, five defense, more. And he'll bring it down and he's short. Quentin Moore tackled there. Who was that on the tackle? J.D. Carter, the transfer linebacker out of Arlington, Texas. So Carter didn't get to play last year, he had to set out, but he comes out this year and makes a big play there to hold Penn State. And let's see, they will miss a second field goal. The rain obviously having an effect here on their kicker as he misses two. The first and 10 here, 5.48 till half. Horn hits Burnett, the freshman. The freshman will make the catch and he'll get 14 yards out of Crystal, Minnesota. 6'2", 217, his first collegiate catch there. First and 10 here. And there goes Jones again. Oh, Jones, he picked up the speed, but he ran right into the linebacker. He'll get four there. 
Make it six here. Jones looking, Jones! Oh, Jones looking. You can just see him like he, he just, he walks and then he'll try to jump through a hole. Third and four now. Third and four here. Roberson, Burnett, Stewart, and Dixon all out there. Oh, he's trying to float that one and it's almost picked off. He tried to hit Stewart. I think that'd be Horn's first incomplete pass of the day. That will bring out the freshman punter from Beeville, Texas, Tyson Stevens. Stevens will boot that one. Nice kick, but it's going to be returned. And they will bring him down, it looks like, at the 20. And the nerves of the freshman hold, and he puts it downfield. It looks like after a big, fast start here, both teams are settling some. There's a nice throw. They'll knock him out of bounds. Carnell Jones, not Darnell. We had Sanders out there. Green. Green will push him out of bounds. And then Green will tackle him on his sideline. That might start some fisticuffs. Big end around run there. It's good to see that they're running back. He paused too. So that's that's programmed in the game. First and 10 here. Penn State trying to move down the field. Hughes adjusts the line a little bit. Oh, he's going for the throw. Booth was there. Booth could not come down with it. They went up for it. But Randy Booth there on the coverage. They split the receivers this time. Third and ten here. It's an important down. Penn State needs to get something on the board. And here comes, oh my good lord. Randy Booth comes through and obliterates Dixon. Oh, they're setting up for a field goal. We've got a punt squad out here. It said uh, punt. Kennery catches this. Kennery's going to return this. Kennery comes out. Kennery will be down, so he'll come up to the 15. It still counts as a turnover. They would have had better field position if he would have just let it drop. But bad decision from Kennery there, and so the Bobcats are going to start farther back now. Oh, and he's got him wide open. And Stewart, Stewart on the catch. The Penn State secondary will pull him down, but that's 41 yards. He just ran past the cornerback and Horn. Horn delivers the catch or the pass. And Stewart brings it down. Had to adjust his footing in the rain. And finally, he's brought down. Big play there. First to 10 here, 320 till half. Jones, Jones again just... He just ekes through four yards on the carry. So instead of uh, the Tom Sutton approach of running through the person in front of you, Darnell Jones is more of a surgeon. Third and six here. Stuart Roberson, Lane, and Burnett. And Roberson, oh, he drops the pass. Hit big time. At a force fourth. So fourth and six here. Conquest once again decides to go for Burnett, Roberson, Stewart. You're up two scores. He's going to hit. Oh, my God. Lane demolished on that. And Justin Horn started off hot, but not made some good decisions on the last few throws. And they'll turn the ball over there. Al Booker's not there this year. 250 till half. Texas State. Oh my god! Uh, That's a fumble! Hey, what? Are you serious? There's no way that was pass interference! Automatic first down. Conquest better be on his ass. That was ref ball if I've ever seen it. That was the biggest case of hog. Oh my god. Oh man, their quarterback. That's a big yardage. I tried to strip it. I couldn't get it. Dixon made us pay on that one. 18 yards. Carrying it like it's a bread loaf. Should have had it. Should have had it there. Player's probably still a little upset about that. Uh, Should have been a fumble, but they threw a flag in the play. That was a toss play. It couldn't have been pass interference. He broke through the line. This game. Oh, get him. How in the world? Did you see him jump and get the first down? Oh, this game. Heisman difficulty. We need a big stop. 
Oh my God, and he beats both of them, and Penn State puts six on the board there. And they'll make it a one score game. Beautiful pass. Both secondary men look like Randy Booth, and I couldn't see the other one's number, just got crossed up, no coverage there. We knew they had it in them. Here it is. Kicker comes out. You blew it! He missed the extra point, and the Nittany line is just sad. I wanted to see what was wrong with their kicker. And I come out here and looked. He's a freshman, and he's 60 overall. His kick power is 69. His accuracy is 53. I thought we had it bad in the kicking department. Oh my lord. Okay. And right, I think this is our first true return of the season. Looks like Kennery is going to get to run this one out. Kennery around the edge. Kennery's got some space. Kennery's got some green. Kennery hit him down and he'll get knocked. Oh no, he'll go down in line. And he's across midfield. 58 yard return. Take it to 10 here. Horn delivers, he hits Wayne Blaine again, 11 more yards. And 34 left. Oh, Horn tried to go deep there, whipped it. Did you see that pass though? Second and 10 here. Oh, whacked down by the linebacker. Good Lord, Bolden was there. Burnett, Roberson, Stewart, Jones in the backfield. And he'll hit Roberson. Roberson gets it first down. Nice play there. First to 10 here, 113 left. Horn floats it across. Stewart, Stewart knocked down by his own guy. He got tackled into him, but that is a first and goal now as they move the sticks. Second and goal. Horn puts it in there, and Stewart brings it down for the touchdown. What a bullet pass. And Stewart, Ryan Stewart. Horn, look at this. That was smoking hit him in there. And Stewart, the senior out of Onatota, Alabama. Onata, Alabama makes the catch. Texas State goes up 21 to six here with 53 seconds left till halftime here in the pouring rain in San Marcos, Texas. Cortez Wilson kicks that one. He slipped a little bit. Uh-oh, that one's headed. It's not gonna be a deep kick. Gaither will come out with it. Gaither gets met by Kenry, it looks like, and he'll pull him down. We'll see if Penn State tries to push here and score before half. Oh, get him. Oh, and he falls on his own lineman. Dixon will lose two, and the Penn State coach is just beside himself. Penn State's coach has lit a fire using his skill. We'll see if this does something here. Second and 12. He's going to make the pass, and that's going to be good for nine. They're close to the first down. Oh, they're going to go hurry up offense. Oh, Texas State didn't get there. They're in man coverage. Oh, he's going deep. Sanders is out there. And Sanders just knocks it out barely. Oh, he had it for a second. So they're going to punt it with 26 seconds left. Kennery is back to get it. See what he can do here. Kennery will get out of bounds. 17 seconds left. Justin Horn, five for five in that first quarter, six for 14 in the second. Still a touchdown apiece. So they have three timeouts here. You've also got Burnett, Roberson, and Stewart out there. So what do you do? And Horn will take the sack. He just held onto it a little too long. Oh no, missed block by the right guard there. Randy Burton let him through. See if they're gonna run a play or just let it run out. And they will let halftime creep up on us. And they should. Texas State leading 21 to 6 here at halftime over Penn State. Some of the new guys starting to fill their roles. A lot of game left to play. 
Second half action about to start here. Bobcats will receive. They're in the lead, 21-6. Roberson will bring this out. Roberson will get hit, and he'll be stopped short of the 20. Stuart Burnett out there, both tight ends, Lee and Lane. And Lane will come down with that one, and that's Lane's fourth or fifth catch today. Fourth catch. Well, he's really filling that role of Kyle Booker here. First and 10. Jones looks for the hole. He'll get through three yards. Second and seven here. Picked off by Tompkins. Tompkins cut the lane. He knew that Lee was getting in, and Penn State comes up with a big turnover here early in the second half. Oh, he just cut that lane. Why can't our linebackers do that? And so Penn State shows some life here. Conquest giving Horn an earful. First and 10 here. Penn State with the best field position of the day. And he's going to go through, and he'll get three as Hill pushes through. The campy decided to move the corner and he did some excellent coverage there. Oh my god, he's wide open. Oh, and they're gonna be first and goal. Penn State here about to enclose the lead. Oh, that was a perfect play. They let just enough guys through. Hmm. So the big uglies of Texas State had some success last year. Let's see what they do here. Lord, Aaron Hill scattles into the end zone, and Penn State makes it a game again. A big turnover at the start of the half. I really thought they might go for two here, try to make it, and the extra point, we barely got that one through. They're going to struggle all year. Eight-point game. I swear they got a different kicker doing kickoffs. I think they're, is it their punter? Here's Kennery. He brings it out of the end zone. Oh, and he just kind oh, of come off the block and stop him there. So they're, show, they're really watching Horn this year. An interception showing up there. I got it on here. Burnett, Roberson, Stewart out there. Lane is the tight end. And Horn gets sacked again. He had a man breaking, but he couldn't get the throw off. The left guard that time letting him through. Looked like Joe Jones, the freshman out of Bolingbrook, Illinois. He's going to have to not let that happen. Stuart Roberson, Lane, and Burnett out there. Oh, my God. Horn was obliterated, and he just was throwing the ball, and that's going to be fourth down. They're going to force a punt. Ison Stevens comes out the punt again. Boots this one. Nice punt. Didn't get it out of bounds. It's going to be caught near the 50. And they're going to get out of bounds. It's going to be a good run back, good field position again. What is with our line? Why are we missing the lineman? They're going to go over the middle again. Oh, Penn State's really, really breaking us down now. Halftime adjustments are working for them. Like a run play, I think they're probably going to go left. We countered back. Get him, bring him down, Carter. Booth, I think, come up and got him there. He only got a cup on it. That's going to force third down. Four riders for the receivers out there for the Lions. Crowd chant defense. Can they stop him here? And he breaks through him, Fernandez. He beats Josh Sanders. And Penn State has brought it back to a two-point game. He's got turned around. So they're going for two here. Try to tie the game up. And he gets through and he makes it. Oh, my God. And Penn State has pushed through and tied the on that wild throw there. Oh, my Lord. So a new game starts now. Kennery. Kennery. Kennery's got an opening. Kennery going down the side of the field. Kennery brought down, it looks like, the 43. So a spur of life, Texas State. These are two juggernauts going at each other. 
Second and eight here. Burnett will make that catch four yards. It makes it third and four now. Here it goes in motion. Oh, and it's almost picked off. But Coach Conquest once again going for it on fourth down here. Bad throw. Roberson, bad decision there by Horn. They'll turn it over. Penn State a chance to take the lead here. I'd line over a little bit. Oh, he sat on that one. That's going to be a seven yard. So third and three. Big, important third down here. And the Bobcats bounce back. Got to be running. Got to be running. Oh, come on, Fritz. Shoot. And whatever that abomination is, is happy. First to 10 again. Come on, boys. You got to get off your blocks. He gets bapped by Ryan Green there out of Lufkin, Texas, the junior. But seven yards. Come from behind, who was that? 40, that is Steve Humphrey, the All-American, shows himself finally, and a big tackle there makes it third and two. Third and two, another important down here. Maybe another first down. We're running all over us now. 104 yards for Aaron Hill. Approaching the end of the third quarter here. And they'll wrap him up in the backfield, a three-yard loss. Looks like Darius Fields was there. We go to the fourth quarter. Penn State's ball, tie game 21 apiece. Third and 13. Super important down here. And Penn State strikes. Nobody was on him. I had man coverage. Where was the coverage? Are we just going to look at this ball? There is burnt. And there is just totally not knowing where in the you are. Oh, maybe you should turn around and cover him. Brandon Fritz, the freshman out of Channel View, Texas, just got beat big time. And that's probably an important lesson for me. Let's see if their kicker can put it through here. And nope. he doesn't! The door is left open! Oh my god, he has missed everything. Why don't they just let their punter do it? This guy, why don't they let number 19? Henry will bring this one out. Henry wrapped up, brought down 19 yards. 651 left in the game. Second and 10 here. Roberson makes the catch. Roberson breaks through, gets a couple more yards. 21 yards. Second and seven here. Burnett, Burnett makes the catch. Burnett rolls past midfield, 12 yards. Takes the state pushing now in the enemy territory. Burnett Stewart out there on the side. It's a run to the side. He's got to get his blocks. Jones gets his blocks. Jones blocks Jones. He's going toward the end zone. Jones jumps in and it's a touchdown. Darnell Jones, 46 yards. My God, they needed that when it counted and Texas State ties the game up. God, that block there, who is that? Wade Lane, the tight end again. We've called his name all day. The key block, and Darnell Jones scattles in. Wilson puts it through and they lead by one, but plenty of time on the clock left for Penn State to march down the field. But Tez Wilson kicks this one. Short kick. Oh God. And he'll get brought down, I think, hit the 20-something. 
45 plays to 42, 362. God, such a close game here. The battle of the cats. Three receivers out there for the Lions. Let's see what Texas State can do here. The Bobcat defense needs to step up. It's been a staple of their team since Conquest has been here. And they'll get the sack. They step up there. Willie Dixon sacked for five yards. Paul Franklin on the sack there. Crowd standing up here. Three receivers out there again. Oh, it's a big handoff. And he's going to break through and get the first down. And that will silence the crowd. I don't know what that was. He pulled an SKS by hopping. We gotta, we gotta hold this middle up here. And the blitz comes through and he will obliterate him. Oh, but they said he got the ball off. Second and 10 here, 4.55 left in the game. And he'll get that throw off. And again, the guy on the right is open. First down. First to 10 here. Oh my God. And again, open down the middle. We, we cannot cover the middle. I put people there to co do a zone coverage and they don't do it. Here right, guys, I really need you to come up with something here. Get him! Yes! Yes! Paul Franklin with his second sack in the drive. The big man from Vernon, Texas, stepping up here. Eight yard loss. Second and 18 here. Four minutes to go in the game. Newberry goes in motion. Oh, and he breaks through, and he's gonna score. And Penn State goes up by five. So you gotta guess they're gonna go for two, right? Big gamble. Well, I mean, I guess they have to. Big play here. Here we go. Get him! Yes, and they stop him. Oh my God! Texas State again has the door wide open with 3:55 left. The quarterback tried to scramble in, but Dixon couldn't make it. Big kickoff here, Kennery. Oh, Kennery gets some major blocks. Kennery just needs one more block. Kennery, Kennery's through. Kennery, he's trying to speed and he gets down to the 30. Oh my God, Brad Kennery, where have you been my whole life? 3.46 left. I'm gonna 12 here. He'll hit Burnett, the freshman spins and he'll get the first down. Texas State moves on up the field. 53 left in the game. There's a handoff. Jones tries to go on the outside. He'll get four yards. He goes in motion. Jones, third and one. This isn't Tom Sutton back here. This is an important down. Third and one. It's not a guarantee. Handoff to Jones, and Jones is met behind the line, and he won't get it. Game pretty much on the line here, fourth and one. He'll hit Lane. Lane's in the end zone, touchdown Texas State. Wade Lane, the hero. Dade City, Florida represent. Oh my God, a minute left. Texas State trying to go for two here. Horn and it's knocked down. Good defense by number three there. Wilson kicks off a minute left in this game. My Lord. Oh no. Oh yes, Dixon. Dixon held on to him. 
Okay, defense, you've got to do something here. You've got to stop. First to 10. You go to throw it outside. There's Fritz. Fritz. I think they knocked him out of bounds. Second and four here, 52 seconds. And they'll go down the middle again. And again, they just, they pick up yardage. Oh my God. First to 10, hurry up offense for Penn State. They're going deep. Fritz, Fritz knocks it down. Fritz, he's gonna, gonna come down with that freshman. Third and 10 here. Secondary goes and moves around. Oh, we were on him. And he goes out of bounds. Fourth and 11, a yard loss on the pass. There's no way they can kick a field goal, right? I don't think we were on a guy. Green, Green knocks it down. Green, oh my God. You, I love you, Ryan Green. Oh my God. The game comes down to that. And Green, I don't care if you didn't catch it. Oh my lord. Coach Conquest breathes a little sigh of relief. I don't know if my heart can take any more games like this. Horn comes out. He's going to take the knee to end the game. What a contest. What a contest. And that is the end of the game, the final score. The final score is ESPN Classic game, you bet. Darnell Jones is your player of the game, 175 yards, two touchdowns. My Lord, it could have went to many people today though. Final score, 34. 33 Texas State Bobcats over the Penn State Nittany Lions. Different team, different look. Team effort to win that one. My lord. I thought that Horn was just playing bad at the end, but the Penn State picked up their defense. And it would have been a totally different game if their kicker could make uh, extra points and field goals. That's something to keep in mind. So we probably escaped with the win on this one. That's something to really keep in mind. But we're 1-0, baby. Take a look at the stats. Justin Horn, 17 for 30. Got a rating of 153, 250 yards, three touchdowns. That one interception that lead to, did lead to a score. Um, he was sacked twice. Overall, not bad. I kind of expected a lot more. He started out super hot. He was like 7 for 7 or 8 for 8. But then the, that's when Penn State come out and started really playing uh, tough. So I'll give him that. He's going to have to bounce back against Kentucky uh, next week. Uh, so we'll really see his true colors against SEC speed. Darnell Jones, 22 attempts, 175 yards, 7.9. Two touchdowns as long as for 68. Yards after contact, 97. Uh, we could say that um, the speed, again, the start of the play is a little different. He has to look for that hole, and if he doesn't get a hole – He's kind of done. Um, with Tom Sutton, Tom Sutton could make a hole. Uh, so with Darnell Jones, he's got to be a lot more. He's either got to beat him to the edge or he's got to find that hole and go through it and then hit his uh, boost. So very different play styles there. Receivers showed up today, especially this guy, Wade, Wade Lane. Five receptions, 64 yards. He had a touchdown. He did have one drop. Roberson, four uh, receptions, 62 yards. Burnett, the freshman, Four catches in his debut, uh, 47 yards, and then Ryan Stewart, the senior, 59 yards on three receptions. So, again, we're still trying to look for who our star is, but um, who's the – Roberson, Stewart, Burnett, or who's the other guy that didn't make a catch wide receiver? Um, Dixon, the senior Dixon. Dixon, I guess, just didn't have his number called. Ryan Green, Jr., nine tackles, eight were solo. Booth, Carter, Carter's the transfer. He showed up on some big plays. Steve Humphrey, kind of silent today. He had four solo tackles. I don't know if it's right, we're running that 4-2-5. Uh, uh, maybe we need to figure out where he needs to move to, or maybe it's just 
J.D. Carter is making some plays too, so they're spreading it between the uh, the uh, linebackers. No interceptions. Here's the shock of the day, I think, is Brad Kennery, the sophomore, five returns for 223 yards, as long as it was 60. He brought us to life. I may remove Roberson off that and maybe put Dixon in that spot as the other returner because um, I don't think Roberson – He's got speed, but I don't know if he's the man for the job back there. All right. We're going to go ahead and end the video there. That was a – some of you said some of the games last year weren't close and weren't exciting. Are you not entertained? This new team, I don't know. I mean, it's going to take us a while to get the pieces together. We're, we're playing with some – everybody – I mean, we got a freshman cornerback who, who made some big mistakes. We've got a freshman wide receiver who's just now learning to catch. Well, not, well, they were athletes, so they may not have played wide receiver and cornerback in uh, high school. we got a freshman who's on the offensive line. So, I mean, there's some pieces that are going to have to mesh together uh, so we have a better time with games this season. Our schedule does not get easier. The next, we got Kentucky, Notre Dame, and then Army and BYU. The next four games – are crazy and then we go into our old school conference schedule and it's untelling what that I don't remember what order that is but it's going to be game after game after game of just adrenaline and whoever comes out and plays the best wins we got lucky this game their kicker was awful they didn't recruit a kicker um I know Captain Pete's going to be terribly butthurt about this but I don't know what to say but anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Hit that like button. Leave a comment below. Remember, the more likes we get, I, I promise you, the more likes we get, the faster I'm going to rush home from work and start editing these videos. I really want to start getting them out more often than I have been. Uh, when I started out, it was one a week. Uh, but I really want to start going more. So get those likes up. More likes, more videos in a faster pace. As always, thanks for watching. God bless. Make good decisions. I will see you all next time. Good night, Bobcat Nation.